welcome to this latest episode of Really Dicey. Today we're going to talk about the Cthulhu alphabet from DCC. Uh, Matt, what did you think? Ah, this is another fantastic alphabet book. We already have the dungeon alphabet and the monster alphabet. This is the Cthulhu alphabet. So this brings the mythos to your DCC game. It's also got a lot of material you could use in a Call of Cthulhu game, really any fantasy game at all. It's great stuff. Um, again, like the other alphabets, it's a, um, it's a GM toolkit listing things about the uh, mythos from A to Z. So A is angles, right? You know, you've got non-Euclidean angles and the space between space and all that sort of stuff all the way to Z, which is zombies. But in the middle, you have cultists, you have Kingsport, you have books, lots and lots of evil books. Fantastic. This book is just a, a wealth of evil information for you to use in your game. There's ideas on traps and encounters, NPCs, all sorts of mad men they can run into. Like I said before, books. There's treasures they can find and really wish they hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, there are, inf there's information on gods, making your own gods, there's information on monsters, um, making your own monsters, putting them together, there's, there's a section on magical effects for the Vorish sign that you can use in your DCCC game, um, and, uh, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these entries have adventure seeds, counted them up. There are over a hundred adventure seeds in this book. Wow. Yeah, it's really amazing. It's a, it's a, it's a really well put together book. It's filled with fantastic art, a nice hardcover. It's even got, uh, you know, a, uh, an appropriate slimy green ribbon <laughs> bookmark. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, it's got information, um, you know, not only horror, right, but because it's a mythos in Lovecraft, it's, it veers in the science fiction. So you've, you've got a lot of stuff about the elder things, right, and their crazy schemes, um, you know, what they're actually doing on Earth, things like the afterlife experiment and the crea creativity siphon and all sorts of wild things like that. Um, there's a section on the uh, great race, which is those those guys that um, jump through history, you know, they, they time travel by jumping from one person to the next person. And so there's a, there's a dozen scenarios about interacting with them. It's just like the other alphabets, it's a heck of a lot of fun to look through. Great resource to get your juices flowing. Is it for just the DCC system or is it for any system? Well, um, it's for any system. It, it, like the other alphabets, it's system neutral. So you're not going to find a lot of system stuff in there. Um, you know, it's it seems to be geared, you know, maybe maybe 60% to DCC, but 40% towards Call Cthulhu. Like their, their M is for Miskatonic University. <laughs> no squids. Um, and so obviously Miskatonic University doesn't exist in DCC unless you want it to. So, um, so you've got a lot of fantasy things, but some of the settings are also contemporary, kind of 19 or 1920-ish, definitely Earth-centered. So um, like everything else, you're going to want to take this and change it and twist it around and mutate it and put it in your game. But, you know, a lot of fun to look through. It's, it's, it's a great GM toolkit for any sort of fantasy game, whether it's Call of Cthulhu or Dungeon Crawl Classics or D&D &D or whatever you're poisoning. Okay. So you definitely see this as a, as a tool that you'll be using yourself for your games in the near future. Oh, definitely. I've already picked out a bunch of horrible things to do with my players. So. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm worried right now. That's um, <laughs> yeah, right. You should be. <laughs> uh, Excellent. So, what? How would you? What would you rate this book? I would give this a uh, an eighteen, three to eighteen. You know, if you run a fantasy game, 
of any sort, either contemporary or horror or anything like that, and you want to include the mythos, you know, whether you're running a mythos game or not, this would be a great book to pick up to just get your ideas going. Name your Excellent. Cult, grab a crazy NPC, whatever you need. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Well, um, thank you for your view, Matt. Um, our readers, if you've seen this book, let us know what you think in the comments below. And yes, have a great day. Uh -huh.